Ella's Death Cast series. And I have the second book in the series here, but I'm going to talk a little bit about the first, which is They Both Die at the End. Uh, this book trended on social media last year, and it's set in 2017 in a world where there's a system called the Death Cast. And this is where, on the day that somebody is going to die, they receive a call, kind of like an Amber Alert system. It's something you can't avoid on your phone. And between midnight and 3 a.m. on the day you're going to die, you receive a call letting you know that it is your end day. So this book follows, the first book in the series, uh, follows two teenage boys, Mateo and Rufus. And at the beginning of the day, they both receive a call. They don't know each other at all, but their paths inevitably cross. And they go through all of the milestones of spending a last day together and meeting someone from the first time. And it's incredibly intimate and beautiful and the characters are beautifully written. Um, and each chapter is a different character's point of view. So it kind of flip flops between Mateo and Rufus at first, but as they start to add more characters and more side plots and everything is connected, um, Adam Silbro really weaves a beautiful web. But the book I'm most excited about is the second book in this series. It's actually a prequel to the first, but you do have to read They Both Die at the End first. This is the first to die at the end, and this is set in 2010 when the death cast system first launches. Um, and there's a boy named Valentino. He's at a party for the launch, and he is the first person to receive a call um, from the founder of Deathcast. Um, he does it personally, letting him know he's going to be the first first person to receive this notification that he's died, that he is going to die that day. And right after this call takes place, there's a crazy turn of events. Valentino is almost killed in that moment, but another teenage boy, Orion, who is a complete stranger, steps in and saves his life. Saves his life. Now, Orion signed up for Deathcast because he has a, a heart condition, and he wanted to know and not live in fear that something was going to happen one day, but he needs a heart transplant. And Valentino decides, if I'm going to die today, at the end of the day, I want you to have my heart. And so very, very touching. <laughs> um, and as they go through their day, they have to spend the day together to stay together. Um, and you also meet characters from the very first book and see how their paths almost crossed. And he really builds the world in this book. You also get a little bit of the mystery of Deathcast. How do they know? Um, and so his third book in the series is coming out of, in September of this year. And it follows the creator of Deathcast, his son. And I really hope they expand more on the mystery. How do they know? Um, but you can order these books from Libby or Interlone, and I hope you check them out. Thank you so much.